everybody, welcome back to Jackcast channel. It's been a long time since I've been on the water actually, so uh, I've really got a lot of high hopes for today. I'm out with Mick Duncan today and we're chasing the legendary Spanish mackerel. We've got some live bait and some dead bait, the usual thing. We've got a reaper rig on this side at the moment and I'm hoping to see how they go. I think Mick's got some live bait out. And if we don't do any good, we're going to head a little bit deeper and look for some snapper because there's also supposed to be some snapper around. But I'm seeing some really good signs of the sound of a bait, what looks to be mackerel uh, up in the water column. So stick around and we'll show you the action from today's fishing. <laughs> Take my plate. It looked like a hit. Had a hit. Must be bait. towards me. What is this? It's a bit weird, it jumped out of the water. What do we got? Spanish mackerel. Yep, it's a Spanish. And we've got him. Yes. Yes. And one in the bag. Oh, that was quick too. Spanish. About a 1.1 Spanish. Uh, Reaper rig. And a uh, dead pilchard. It's all right. Woohoo! <laughs> 
Oh, geez, it's a heavy one. What do we reckon the size? There we go, guys. That's what we came for this morning. 10 minutes of trolling. Looking pretty good. I'm going to get out there. We're in New South Wales, so we can catch more than one of these here. Again, that's a bit of a bummer. Hey, <laughs> uh, you don't always get good hookups on these. I think I need to use two travels up the body because they don't always hook up on the tail, I don't always hook up on the head. The first one hooked up on the head, so I had a really good, uh, really good hooking in the corner of his mouth. And the, uh, the second hook, which was the stinger, was actually hooked in his side as well, so he wasn't going anywhere. But uh, there's a big gap in the middle, and the first pilch that I well, the first bait I put out was a yakka and uh, I lost it because it bit the middle and took the middle. Let's go! Bit of float lining. Um, come out to a bit deeper water now. Uh, I only caught that one Spanish, but uh, it was all right. It ended up with two. Um, we each had a few lost ones, uh, you know, hooked up. We couldn't bring them in. Come out to 50 meters, and I go for some snapper. Yay. Step number one. It's been huge. It's probably about the 45s. There's a lot of snap around me now. Let me just mark this part here. First snapper. Um, Just on the 46 centimetre. Not huge. Good meal size. There's plenty around. I should be able to bag out today if I don't run out of pilchers first. So just clean this up and get straight back into it. Big, big, big school on the sounder. So let's see if we can hook up here. Should be able to. Take the snapper over there. Not a bad one at all. 
a bit of weight at it. Heaps here. This one's better. There's a stack of fish here. Stack of fish here. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing over there, are you? They're sitting here. This one's alright. Oh! Just got done. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's still there. He swam up. Oh, oh he got done by a shark. No, he's still there. <laughs> I thought I lost it then. <laughs> oh, let it go. Maybe I got a maybe I got a shark on it now, or a kingfish. It sort of went light, like it got hit. Ah, uh, it's just ripping off line now. It's just ripping off line now. <sighs> Might be a small shark. Yeah. Okay. You reckon? Do they take the snapper? Oh yeah, either that or a massive. Either that or a really big snapper. <laughs> it's ripped off about 50 meters of line on me. <laughs> yeah. Could they? Yeah, that. Oh, man. <laughs> it's not quite the right for it, is it? No, right, we'll soon find out anyway. Get it back up the top here now. It's coming now. Alright, what are you? Must be close now. Whoa. Pulls down hard, so hard. Must be king. Yep. I wonder if I can lift him in. <laughs> oh, that's a kingy. I might let this little fella go, or big fella. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, I'll get your hook out. There we go. Hopefully I can hold him without him dropping out of my skin. I'm just measuring him, so Jesus, solid. Just on the meter. I'll show that I can, but there's a meter kingy. Oh. Very slimy. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go. Either way. What do you got, Mick? Snapper? Yeah, that's the one, I think. Oh, you got a little uh, line out that side. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> little one, little one. I hope they get bigger than that. <laughs> Did you catch that little line with that piggy? No. Dead bait. Pilchard. So that school there looks a bit like a kingfish, doesn't it? 
sounder. Kingy's still eating the pilchers though. Just hoping it's a snapper, that's all. Oh, it's a snapper. Not huge, but we'll take him. He's legal size. Whoa, splash, splash, splash. Nothing too huge, but Another one. Here's the rig, it's pretty simple. Two hooks. One through the back, one right through the eye, nice and flat. That's it. There's still plenty under me on the sounder, so. So this is the technique, you can see the uh, lines just running off nice and smoothly, and I've got my thumb lightly on the top of the, the reel here, just to stop it from getting any backlash. And what will happen is if the fish takes my bait on the drop, that's going to start moving really fast. You'll get the odd little you know, pull when it... There we go. There we go. That's it. There we go. Another, another snapper. I think it's a snapper. Oh, I lost him. He got off. There we go, another one, uh, probably about the same. Just back in the 50 centimeters there. Not huge, but uh, great eating size. another kingfish actually because it took it in the water column sort of behaving a bit kingies I think it's king I think Following you today, hey? Must be getting close now, what is it? Oh! <laughs> That's a better one, hey? I could have sworn that would have been a kingfish. Didn't fight like a snapper. <laughs> That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. It's 65. That's a 65 centimeter snapper. That's a better one. Well, I think that's about it, guys. So I'm gonna head back now, I think. I think Mick and I have had enough fishing. It's uh, getting on to lunchtime. Got our bag of fish. A little bit of a haul back. It's uh, well worth the trip. And um, I uh, really appreciate you coming back to the channel. If you watched the video all the way through too, good on you. And um, hopefully it kept you entertained. All right, see you next time. We better hit the road. All right, 